Hey there! Welcome back to Learn Oilfield Stuff, the ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you the latest news, tips, and tricks in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Are you ready to dive into the world of drilling fluid additives? Because we sure are. Did you know that drilling fluid is not just a simple mixture of water and mud? No, there are actually a ton of different substances that can be added to it to make it even more effective. Let's check out some of the coolest functions of drilling fluid additives. First up, we have alkalinity and pH control. Sounds fancy, right? Well, these additives are just here to control the acidity or alkalinity of the drilling fluid, and they include lime, caustic soda, and bicarbonate of soda. Next, we have bactericides. These additives are like tiny warriors that reduce the bacteria count. We're talking paraformaldehyde, caustic soda, lime, and starch preservatives. Calcium reducers are up next. They're here to stop calcium sulfates like anhydrite and gypsum from causing contamination. The most common ones include caustic soda, soda ash, bicarbonate of soda, and certain polyphosphates. Corrosion inhibitors are like the superheroes of the drilling fluid world. They're used to control oxygen and hydrogen sulfide corrosion and include hydrated lime and amine salts. Cool, right? Defoamers are the sidekicks to the superheroes. They reduce the foaming action in salt and saturated saltwater mud systems by reducing the surface tension. Emulsifiers are like the matchmakers of drilling fluids. They're added to make sure that two liquids like oil and water can get along and create a homogeneous mixture. Some of the most common ones are modified lignosulfonates, fatty acids, and amine derivatives. Filtrate reducers are the saviors of lost water. They're used to reduce the amount of water lost to the formations, and the most common ones include bentonite clays, CMC, sodium carboxymethyl cellulose, and pre-gelatinized starch. Flocculants are like the organizers of solids. They help to bunch up the colloidal particles in suspension and cause solids to settle out. The most common ones include salt, hydrated lime, gypsum, and sodium tetraphosphates. Foaming agents are the bubbly ones of the bunch. They're most commonly used in air drilling operations and act as surfactants to foam in the presence of water. Lost circulation materials are the plug that saves the day. They're inert solids used to plug large openings in the formations to prevent the loss of whole drilling fluid. Nut plug, nut shells, and mica flakes are some of the most commonly used ones. Lubricants are like the cool kids of the drilling fluid world. They reduce torque at the bit by reducing the coefficient of friction. Certain oils and soaps are some of the most commonly used ones. Pipe-freeing agents are the ultimate problem solvers. They're used as spotting fluids in areas of stuck pipe to reduce friction, increase lubricity, and inhibit formation hydration. Commonly used are oils, detergents, surfactants, and soaps. Shale control inhibitors are like the clay busters of the drilling fluid world. They're used to control the hydration, caving, and disintegration of clay, shale formations. Commonly used are gypsum, sodium silicate, and calcium lignosulfonates. Lastly, surfactants are the smooth operators of drilling fluids. They reduce the interfacial tension between contacting surfaces, such as oil, water, water, solids, and water, air. These drilling fluid additives might seem small, but they sure do pack a punch in making drilling more efficient and effective. Thanks for tuning in.